buonasera, buonasera a tutti, grazie per l'applauso, grazie, grazie, benvenuti all'Istituto Italiano di Cultura. So tonight's event has been organized by the Puglia Center of America, whose president and founder is Maestro Luciano La Monarca, who is a, a formidable organizer. He's not the only a very good organizer. Uh, he's also a, an internationally renowned tenor. For it, you must be a little bit patient, and we will have a wonderful demonstration later on. Tonight, uh, Puglia Center of America will confer uh, Puglia's Italy Award of Excellence to an artist who we can say it's a very bright star in the sky of international cinema. A star who is proud, as he told me, is proud of his origini pugliesi, uh, since his mother comes from a tiny village of this region of Puglia. And we want to celebrate his legendary talent, and we are very pr proud to have him with us here, Joe Mantegna. Before continuing, I would like to introduce for a few words uh, our Consul General of Italy, Giuseppe Perrone. Well, uh, there is a full house, as I can see. So, Joe, uh, you are uh, extremely popular also here at the Italian Cultural Institute. Uh, we are indeed very excited to be here to celebrate uh, Joe's career and accomplishment. Uh, Joe, as you know, is a uh, is a formidable actor. Uh, uh, it's a great uh, opportunity that we have here to celebrate you as an actor and to celebrate you as an Italian because as uh, Alberto was saying earlier, uh, Joe is a very proud Italian as someone who, uh, who travels frequently, as you were saying also earlier, to, uh, to Italy and to his native uh, Puglia region. Uh, Puglia is, is, uh, is a region that, uh, as Alberto was saying, is an extremely, uh, not only a beautiful region, a region that has an incredible variety of, uh, of landscapes, of, uh, of arts, of uh, traditions, but it's also one of the most dynamic regions uh, at this time in Italy in terms of uh, also economic opportunities. And it's a region that uh, places a lot of uh, emphasis on creativity, also on uh, Puglia is the region that gave so much to Hollywood that if we only think of, uh, his name is too long, but he's known as Rodolfo Valentino, he's, just, uh, he's from Puglia. And uh, he came to Hollywood and he really embodied the, uh, the, the essence of the Italian and the American dream, much in the same way that Joe does. So we're extremely excited to have you here and for you to be not just the star that you are, but the star of the night at the Italian Cultural Institute. And tonight, uh, uh, Puglia Center of America is uh, represented by a bellissima lady, uh, Valentina La Monarca. So the name you can bet, uh, there is a link between the Maestro Luciano La Monarca and Va Valentina, you can guess. Signori, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, uh, good evening and welcome to this magnificent receptacle of beauty and Italian feel, which is the Italian cultural center of Los Angeles. I am Valentina La Monarca and I represent here tonight the Puglia Center of America based in New York. We at the Puglia Center of America work towards building bridges of mutual understanding and sharing of culture, traditions, touristic uh, assets, academic exchanges between the sunniest region of Italy, Puglia, and the United States on one side and on the other between Puglia and the world. But Puglia Center of America is here today to honor one of Puglia's most renowned sons, Joe Mantegna, whose mother comes, as you just heard, from Puglia. He's our strongest, toughest, Pillar, and not only for his tough guy roles in the movies. Joe Mantegna does not need a special introduction. 
We are humbled by his acceptance of this award, more so after last night when me and my husband, we had the great privilege to have dinner together with him and Arlene, his wife. And we just got a glimpse of who Joe Mantegna is as a man, as a husband, as a loving dad. We have here also his daughters, Mia and Gia. A round of applause for them. He is just a great, great, nice person. Because I must say you, it's nice to be known as being great, but it's great to be known as being nice. Yes. And so I So, Joe Mantegna is all of what I said above, uh, kind, nice, and great. A versatile actor, playwright, narrator, voice actor, film director, producer, benefactor, Emmy Award winner, winner of other numerous film awards, loving husband and dad, and on top of everything, he is very proud of his Pugliese origins, and a big connoisseur of the great taste of Puglia, Burrata and Stracciatella. <laughs> Joe Mantegna. and his lovely wife Valentina for, for first asking me to uh, accept this, this award on behalf of uh, his organization. And everyone here at the Institute, the Council, the, everyone here, the, thank you so much. Um, you know, it's funny, people will, people will ask, you know, well, what's it like to be Italian-American? I don't, I don't know what it's like not to be an Italian-American, obviously. <laughs> and then, my strongest memory of, of at least the Pugliese side was it was in early in early seventies, and my grandfather. I was lucky to have my grandparents on my on the Pugliese side for most of my adult, or at least the early part of my adult life. And I remember we were going to go to Puglia for the first time, my wife and I, and my grandfather, who my mother lived with at the time, said, "Joe, you have to go see the relatives in the Puglia, please, to see the relatives." And I'm thinking, I was about 21 years old, I was with my wife, we're thinking, all right, we'll stop, we'll have coffee, knock on the door, say hello, we don't speak really the language, well, what's it gonna be? But it was my grandfather, and I was so close to him. I said, Grandpa, I'll do that. So we, we take the train, we go from Rome to Bari, to Bari, to a little town called Acqua Viva della Fonte. And uh, we get off the train, and we're Looking at it, I see a lady on the street. I said, Can you tell me where the Casa Novelli is? Of course, as an Italian lady in a small town would do, she not only showed us where it was, she ran alongside the cab we were in and wouldn't get in the cab, but ran alongside so that we could get to the house. So I figured, I looked at my wife, I says, Okay, I understand. We've never met these people. I think my grandfather called them, told them we were coming. We'll stop, say hello the best we can with my broken Italian. We'll have a cup of coffee, take the next train back. I knock on the door. The door opens, and there's this woman standing there with the apron on, and she looks at me, and I wasn't sure who she was. I thought, I don't know, maybe maybe they have a housekeeper or something. I don't know. I, she looks at me, staring. I say, Io sono Giuseppe Montaigne. my mama, Mama Lina, who I came to know and love her. We stayed there 12 days. <laughs> the cup of coffee turned into 12 days. We couldn't leave. There was no way we could leave. I kept saying, we really have to go. Don't mind, don't mind. 
It changed my life, it changed my wife's life. They've become a big part of my family. We've been going there, they've been coming here continually since that, that, that year of 1975. And the thing about being a Papulian, especially, and Italian in general, events like this is a wonderful thing. It's a great thing. And I, I am so proud and so, so grateful for the life that I've had and the background that I've had. But the important thing is that we hang on to the traditions, the important things, the things that, that, that all the great aspects that all the different nationalities in this world bring. I mean, I'm not, you know, we're going to be prejudiced in this room. We're going to think, you know, Italians are the greatest people on the planet. But it's a world full of different nationalities, regardless of, 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 of how, what percentage of an Italian we are, or percentage of Pugliese we are, or anything else. That's not what's important. What's important is that we embrace the culture, the, the quality of life, the things that make the Italian lifestyle such a, uh, an envious thing in the world, and embrace that as we embrace everything else. So that way I can be proud to say, io sono Giuseppe Mantegno, io sono mezza Siciliano, io sono mezza Pugliese, io sono tutti Americani. Grazie. Looks like Capa de Monte, doesn't it? <laughs> from Salento is uh, ceramic and it could represent even a flower's vase or even a magician hat. It depends how you want. <laughs>